Sea vessels have played an important role in the evolution of the human race throughout history. Maritime transportation is now the backbone of global trade and the global economy, but it has long been a pivot around which nations have thrived. This is a brief history of sea vessels, from ancient Egyptian papyrus boats to modern mammoth ships. Before we begin, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, and press the bell icon. Ancient Reed Boats the earliest known remnants of a seafaring vessel were discovered in Kuwait at an archaeological site known as H3. They are estimated to be around 7,000 years old. The boat was built with reeds, which were also used by the ancient Egyptians, whose papyrus skiffs are a more well-known example of humanity's earliest seafaring vessels. These boats transported a wide range of items, including building blocks, coffins, and food. Several of these wooden ships have miraculously survived to this day. The Khufu ship, which was buried alongside the Great Pyramid of Pharaoh Khufu, more commonly known as the Great Pyramid of Giza, around 4,600 years ago, is perhaps the most significant. It is a solar bark, or solar boat, that may have been part of the Pharaoh's fleet during his lifetime. The Trireme The Trireme, a formidable galley, ruled the ancient Mediterranean. The trireme, which literally means three rower, was used by the Phoenicians, Greeks, and Romans and was named after the three rows of oarsmen who pulled to the beat of a drum. The trireme was thought to be capable of reaching speeds of over seven knots, making it the fastest and deadliest ship of the ancient world. It was armed with a bronze ram capable of penetrating the hull of an enemy ship. The unrivaled fleet of triremes is credited with Athens' maritime dominance. The Viking Longship The Viking ships relied on an outer shell of wood rather than internal beams, which made them light, versatile, and fast without sacrificing much strength. This meant that the ships required fewer resources to build, which was important given the decentralized nature of Viking culture. It was the birth of the Viking Longship as we know it today. It had a shallow draft, which meant that only a small portion of the hull was underwater, making it fast and dangerous, especially in shallow waters. Great fleets of longships, capable of carrying up to 100 Viking soldiers, could land on open beaches or penetrate deep into river systems. The Chinese Junk The Chinese Junk is thought to have first appeared during the Han Dynasty, 206-220 AD. It is distinguished by its narrow shape and distinctive, battened sail, which includes bamboo spines for stability and durability. If the sail were to rip, the bamboo would only compromise one section. The Chinese expanded the ship and added more masts over time. The Song Dynasty, 9501276 junks had four masts, but it was during the Ming Dynasty, 1368-1644 that these ships evolved into magnificent nine-masted, treasure, ships. Christopher Columbus Santa Maria Christopher Columbus set sail from the Spanish port of Palos on August 3, 1492, heading west. Columbus' larger flagship, La Santa Galaga, the Santa Maria, was accompanied by two smaller ships, the Nia and the Pinta. The smaller ships are known as caravels, and they were revolutionary in the 15th century due to their maneuverability and speed. The Caravela Latina, or early Portuguese caravels, had latine sails that hung at a 45-degree angle from the deck and acted almost like wings. The Santa Maria was a three-masted ship with two square-shaped sails for open ocean sailing and one latine sail for coastal maneuverability, based on a Spanish update known as the Caravela Redonda. This rigging combination was what made these ships so versatile and effective. After what would have been a long and unpleasant journey, Columbus arrived in the present-day Bahamas after 36 days. HMS Victory The HMS Victory is best known as Lord Horatio Nelson's flagship during the Battle of Trafalgar on October 21, 1805. The 104-gun, full-rigged ship was launched in 1765 and remained in service until 1824. The Battle of Trafalgar involved many of the world's finest ships, including the world's largest ship at the time. The Santissima Trinidad, a Spanish first-rate of the line ship with over 1,000 men and 112 guns. The Trinidad was roughly twice as long as Columbus Santa Maria and had 112 more guns. Clipper Ships 
Clipper ships were the next ships to revolutionize global trade and travel at unprecedented speeds. The three-masted and full-rigged American Clipper ship is distinguished by its beautiful design that prioritizes speed over capacity. Since the 1840s, these ships have been transporting tea from Canton, China, to New York and, later, Hong Kong. Due to its light weight and high value, tea was an ideal commodity for the Clipper. As a result, the owners of these ships became some of the wealthiest men in the United States. The First Submarines The first submarine prototype was built in 1578, and there have been numerous fascinating attempts to design a successful underwater vessel since then. Cornelius Drebbel, a Dutch polymath, invented a modified rowboat coated in greased leather for King James I in 1620. There were demonstrations of its capabilities in the River Thames, much to the delight of the audience. Following that, during the American Revolution, Yale graduate David Bushnell invented the Turtle, a manually operated wooden one-man submarine. Several missions were launched in which the colonist operator attempted and failed to attach a time bomb to an enemy ship's hull. In 1800, American inventor Robert Fulton created the first modern submarine, which was made entirely of metal. The Nautilus had a number of novel features, but neither the French nor English navies were interested. Several different submarines were designed throughout the 19th century, but it wasn't until 1898 that the United States Navy formally commissioned their first submarine. The USS Holland was outfitted with a single torpedo tube and a dynamite gun, a type of pneumatic cannon. The submarine, which was powered by a single 160-horsepower electric motor, was never used in combat but served as a useful training vessel. The Titanic The RMS Titanic disaster is one of the most famous maritime stories in recent history. The luxurious British passenger liner set sail from Southampton to New York City with 2,240 passengers on board. Before its departure, the Titanic had broken numerous records and was hailed as unsinkable. During construction, the ship's hull was the world's largest movable man-made object. However, the 882-foot steamship crashed into an iceberg off the coast of Newfoundland in the North Atlantic in the early hours of April 15, 1912. The SS Ideal X the first commercially successful container ship was the SS Ideal X. The Ideal X, a former World War II T2 oil tanker, was purchased by Malcolm McLean's Pan Atlantic Steamship Company and became the first container ship. The foresighted businessman realized that time and manpower were being squandered loading cargo onto and off ships when it would make far more sense to lift the entire trailer of the truck. This novel concept marked the start of globalization. Records are still being broken today. The jet-powered hydroplane Spirit of Australia holds the world record for the fastest boat, to name a few. It reached an astounding estimated speed of 344.8 miles per hour. The pioneering Spirit, which displaces nearly 900,000 tons of water, or the equivalent of 300,000 elephants, is the world's heaviest ship. Finally, History Supreme, which costs an eye-watering $4.8 billion, tops the list of the world's most expensive superyachts. The 100-foot-long superyacht is made of 10,000 kilograms of solid gold and platinum, and features a genuine Tyrannosaurus rex skeleton, a meteorite wall, and a 24-karat gold panoramic wall aquarium. A little too extravagant. It's safe to say that sea vessels have come a long way since papyrus skiffs, and given the rate of technological advancement, it'll be fascinating to see what comes next. This was the evolution of the sea vessels. We hope you like the video. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more videos about the evolution of things. Thank you for watching.